Okay, today is a good day. Why is today a good day? Because if you're watching this video, it actually means that my 450L is not stock anymore. Today, as we stand, this Vortex computer and the Oceanmere exhaust, they're already on there. What we're doing today though, is before I get that installed, we're taking a baseline loop about 60 miles. We wanna get a fixed route to see what the miles per gallon is stock going about 60 miles before we put this in. So from everything I've heard, the gas mileage is gonna drop a lot with this. So I wanna get a specific loop to compare the before and after. So once we get the computer in and the exhaust changed, we'll be back to do this loop again, exact same loop, and we'll compare the gas mileage. Now my dad's coming with me today and he's kind of prepping for one of our mountain trips coming up to see how the bike feels with extra gas on them, tank bag. But this is also gonna be the first time he's tracked any kind of mileage with the sprocket changes we did. So if you've seen the other videos, we went from 14 to 13 in the front and from 40 to 42 in the rear. So his gas mileage is gonna change. So since we're going, we both topped up to a visual point so that once we're done with the ride, we'll head to the gas station and see what we're coming up with for an average gas mileage. Okay, let's get on the road and get our baseline so that we can hurry up in theory and get back and get my bike modded and go for another ride. So subscribe to the channel and let's get this started. Okay, so we are halfway there. We're gonna go walk down and check out the dam. 54.9 miles per gallon is what I'm showing. Burned 0.4 gallons. So that was 23.7 miles. That ain't bad. Okay, so that's been a good ride so far. We're at the Long Lake Dam Overlook in uh, Washington, Eastern Washington. Yeah, you can feel the water mist up here. I'm gonna bring the kids out here next weekend. That's cool. Especially while it's running. This is why we ride though, right? Make sure that after you watch videos like this, you yourself get out. Whether you ride, hike, go do something. Okay, showing 53.7 miles per gallon and 47.1 miles traveled. That's what's gonna matter. Okay, back to where we were before. I've got 0.791. So 47.1. Okay, I got 59 point. What was that, five miles per gallon, pretty damn good. Peter said 57.3, so I mean, I'm pretty much where I was in the last video, so pretty consistent. Okay, 250L took 0.761. 
Okay, so real quick, his bike showed 45.2 miles traveled. I was 47.1. We're going to use my bike that's consistent. So he got a little bit better gas mileage than me, 61, almost 62. But overall, even with the gearing change, still fantastic mileage. So if you're freeway, if you're under freeway traveling, 65 and under, gearing changes definitely worth it. Okay, so at this point, let's go back and swap my bike out. Okay, quite a bit of time has actually passed since I filmed the first half of that video, um, but we're getting ready to gear up here and now do the test on the Vortex. So we've got my bike on here. We've put the Vortex on, got a video for that. We did sound comparisons. I felt like the bike was too loud. And so I'm riding with my modded muffler and the Vortex settings are on the 445. The five might be a little too rich, but I haven't done final testing on it. And then we got my brother-in-law's Dan's bike on here, which we did the video of his. Um, quick follow-up when we ended that video we were at 30 miles we're now over a hundred and bikes running fine so we're pretty sure we fixed it so um, if you haven't seen any of those videos check them out but he is running the San Diego powerhouse kit with the vortex and all its standard settings and Yoshimura with the spark arrester so now we're gonna run to the gas station real quick it's gonna add only like an extra mile to the original one top off then head off to that dam and come back and we're gonna see basically how much of a shit the gas mileage took from stock to where we're at now so let's go find out Okay, so we made it to the dam overview, and as you can see behind me, it ain't running. So when we were here the first time, that thing was just running wide open. So, so far I've got, I wanna say 47 miles per gallon, and stock was 58 when we got here, something like that. Dan, what are you getting? Did you see your miles per gallon? Okay, we'll have to look here in a second um, for the powerhouse, but on the way back <laughs> up, on the way back up, um, more uphill. And so that'll take a little way. We'll see. I think for street riding, you're looking about a 10 loss, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're gonna go off of just one person's bike to keep it consistent, but we got 46.7 miles traveled. We are showing 48.4 miles per gallon, that's not bad. And we had 0.9 gallons used. So let's go back to the trip and see how much gas it takes. Okay, so we're on Dan's bike, and again, we'll just use my trip odometer for consistency, same route. And he was showing about the same gas mileage. So the cam may not make a big difference. How much gallons did you say you used? Maybe 0.7 or 0.8. Go ahead and keep going. Oh, it was right there. It said 0.9, I think. Yeah. Um, 
to the base, 0.9 gallons. Yep. Okay, so I took 0.901 gallons. We're gonna hand this over to Dan. Okay, and so Dan at 1.798, uh, that takes math. Um, in my head though, that's basically like 0.89. So we're down to hundreds of a gallon here, and that's just the difference of where we're filling up in the tank. So I'm going to say we both actually use the same fuel. We use 0.9 gallons of gas. So let's see what that is for mileage. Okay, so if we are to believe the trip computer, that was 51.8 miles per gallon, which is actually less of a drop than I thought it would be. And the computer is saying I got 48 miles per gallon um, on here. So according to this, with the uh, Vortex, we're a little less accurate than stock, um, but I'd rather be on the lower end of estimating. And however, on here though, it says we use 0.9 gallons of gas. We got 0.9 at the pump. Um, and Dan's bike within, again, fractions of an inch, or an inch, within fractions of a gallon and odometer, we use the same. Um, so let's go ahead and get back to the house and I'll give some final thoughts on uh, my bike, his bike, and the changes we made. Okay, so I can't remember the exact mileage we had on the first ride. Um, I'll pop it on the screen. I wanted to say it was like 58 or 59. Anyway, so for road riding, a little bit of aggressiveness, you know, here and there, as you saw, it's a 10 to 12 mile per gallon loss, which isn't horrible. Um, I guess it isn't horrible against my expectations. I mean, that is quite a bit of gas mileage lost on here and it makes a two gallon gas can all the more kind of limiting in your range. And so with us taking 0.9 gallons, we were 0.6 gallons away from the fuel light coming on. So it's not a long distance bike stock by any means and it surely isn't now. So yeah, we probably will put the IMS tanks on here. I think the biggest surprise of the video, which was a bonus that I didn't know was gonna happen when we started this, is that we had the extra bike to come with us. And so it's kind of cool to know that if you do the San Diego Powerhouse mod, um, as I kind of thought when we put that on the video, that camshaft is more of an upper RPM game changer. And so when you're just cruising along and riding, if you stay out of it, it's actually about the same as the Vortex. Um, it is my belief with how lean this thing is stock that if you were worried about mileage, you could turn the jets on your Vortex down from fives to threes and lean it out some. However, he's at the fives right now and I'm at fours and we got basically the same gas mileage. So I don't know how much that would change it, but I think if you moved the jets to three, I don't think it would really affect anything on the motor. You're not gonna hurt it and it might eke out a little bit of gas mileage, um, but not a lot. It's hard to say on here how much the downhill coasting where the stock ignition would have cut the fuel. I don't know how much of a difference that made. I'm sure it did, but I don't think it was drastic. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And now you can really know at the end of the day what the gas mileage is with a stock 450L, modded 450L, two different ways, and a modded 250. So quite a bit of information in this video. We had fun, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time and be sure to keep riding. Thank you.